This photo is my son Purple Shep, look at him everyone, just look at his face. This face represents failure, disappointment, it represents weakness, but, my friends, everything changes today. Hey what's up my prankster gangsters, so lately I've been thinking that I'm incredibly miserable and I want to have another child. Purple Shep may be my son and even though I'll always love him he's growing up very fast and he's incredibly ugly and I don't want people to look at him and think of me as ugly too. Especially with Purple Shep's miserable excuse for a mustache. My mustache definitely cannot be remembered that way. Everyone knows your boy is the most handsome sheep on the block. I may not have been the best father figure in the past but that is all going to change this time around because I'm certain my next child won't be anywhere near as much as a disappointment and they certainly can't be as ugly, especially with Crystal Sheep being my soon to be wife. I haven't spoken to Crystal Sheep about this yet but I'm sure that if I buy her some of her favorite flowers and maybe some Starbucks she will have to say yes to having a baby with me. So my journey today is all going to be about learning to be a good father. For my next son I want to be the best father anyone could ever imagine. I've noticed a lot of people commenting saying that I'm not a good father to Purple Ship so I'm going to do my best today to learn and prove everybody wrong. So first things first, I need to find a child. I'm going to use my world class detective skills to track down and adopt a baby. My mustache senses are tingling, there must be children around. I think I can see one up ahead. Wow there are so many I don't know who I should adopt. Oh my goodness it looks like that mother just abandoned her daughter. Let's try and adopt her. It's okay Angela. I'll be your father. OMG guys she accepted. I'm so happy. And we get paid as well. She's already being less of a disappointment than Purple Shep. Just look at her face. Let's have a play in this playground. Wee 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 wee. I love trampolines. You know I used to be a professional trampolinist. I was super good. I even won an award. She doesn't seem to be having much fun though. Maybe we should try going on the slide instead. Oh I forgot. Babies can't climb ladders. Looks like we are going to need to improvise and climb up the slide instead. Easy does it. There we go. Made it without a single drop. More than I can say for Purple Shep. She still doesn't seem to be having much fun though. I wonder what she could possibly want. Maybe some swimming would cheer her up. No still nothing. Oh but look over there. A baby shop. A shop specifically targeted at babies. She's got to love me then. Let's see if we can get her to say her first words. Maybe I can convince her to say something by proving her worth to these guys by saying my child is better than yours. There we go. No still nothing. Man what is wrong with this child? No no. Hold it together pink sheep. You can do this. Here let me try telling those guys again. My child is better than yours. With a smiley face. Oh my goodness guys it worked. Her first words are dad toys. I couldn't be more proud. But wait I don't have enough money to buy her what she wants. Oh no I really am a horrible father. Maybe if I explain she will understand. She's clearly quite smart. Or maybe if I buy her some of this formula instead she won't notice. Here I'll just buy it for her anyway. She isn't saying anything. Oh no is she angry with me? Oh she's still asking for toys. Why didn't she understand before that I couldn't afford it? I should just be straight with her and tell her she can't have any toys. Oh no. She started crying. What do I do? I have no idea how to make a baby stop crying. Oh it's so annoying. Help. Maybe if I just ask her nicely she'll just stop like a good child should. Oh my goodness. It looks like we've been saved by the wonders of ice cream. Surely she won't cry anymore if I buy her some ice cream. Oh how embarrassing she's crying in the shop. Okay child. Do you want some ice cream? Yes success. She stopped crying and she said that again. Yay. I'm so proud. Man now I want some ice cream. I guess I need to overcome my own desires in order to make her happy though. I think she liked it. Maybe if I buy her another cone that will stop her from crying in the future. Oh my goodness guys she even thanked me. I'm so happy. You know I always see chubby babies and they always seem the happiest. Maybe if I overfeed my child they will end up being happier than a regular baby. Now that's some good dad thinking. I better tell her the good news. Oh she doesn't understand. How do I put it into simple terms? Here we go. Fat babies are good babies. She's smart enough to understand that right. What? She said she doesn't want to be fat. 
How could she be so disrespectful? I'm just trying to make sure she lives a happy healthy life. And now she's crying again. This is ridiculous and incredibly tiring. How dare she disrespect her father, especially after I saved her from a mother who abandoned her. Well now I guess I understand why at least. She's going to be a fat baby and she's going to like it. Oh my goodness I am so sick of this. All I wanted to be was the best dad I could be but I guess there's just no helping some children. Discipline is the only way. She's just learned to talk and already her favorite word seems to be wah and no. I think it's time for a family car ride. Oh my goodness where did she go? She knew how to walk this whole time and was making me carry her. What a liar. Come back here child. I'm going to carry you whether you like it or not. Get back here. You can't disobey your father like that. I've only loved you and supported you and this is how you're treating me. You know what? This is the last straw. I can't handle this anymore. You aren't my child anyway. Stop running away. Someone put you up for adoption and for a good reason too. I'm going to put you back where you belong. Maybe a dolphin can look after you or something. Slimy things. Back up for adoption you go. Oh no guys. What have I done? All I wanted to be was a good father. How am I ever going to redeem myself? Oh my goodness. That child looks like she just fell from the heavens. Right into my arms. Let's adopt her. She even has some super cool purple hair. Not as good as pink but it will do. I promise to love you forever guest Oh no. Why does she keep trying to jump out of my arms? No. Not again. Oh it's okay she was just trying to jump on my back. That's okay I guess. But she should have told me first so I didn't freak out so much. It doesn't look like guest can talk yet but that's okay. She'll be learning from the best. Wait come back. Don't jump off me like that. It's dangerous. Maybe it would be best if I ask her what she wants to do so she doesn't feel the urge to run away again. I'll wait and see if she responds. Maybe she just needs a minute to learn my speech pattern. Oh my goodness. How useless. She can't even talk yet. What a waste of my time and effort. Well into the water she goes. She can go join her sister. I need to save my good parenting for my real child that I'm going to have with crystal sheep. Maybe purple sheep would get along well with these guys. Okay I've decided I'm going to try one last time to look for a child. Let's go to a part of the map where I haven't visited before. Maybe the babies that live over there are a bit smarter than the other ones. Wow there are even all these different shops I didn't notice before. A toy shop. A pizza plaza. Wow this is definitely the place to be. There are sure to be some posh babies living back here. Oh look there's one. Let's try and adopt her. What? She denied my request. Well I'm not taking no for an answer. Let's follow her in. Oh it looks like she can't speak proper English. I don't know what that means. That's okay let's just keep trying to adopt her. She's got to accept sooner or later. Maybe if I just use discipline and tell her that this is my child she'll be able to understand and let me adopt her. Oh, guys, do you remember me saying I speak a lot of different languages? Well with my brilliant language skills I have deducted that she is not in fact speaking English but most likely Spanish. Well as much as this girl seems smarter than the other ones I don't think I can adopt a baby that doesn't speak the same language as Crystal Sheep and I. What a shame. She seems so perfect. Okay guys well I don't think I'm going to find a child suited to my needs as being the best father in the universe. I think that that is going to be a role that only the child of Crystal Sheep and myself can fulfill. This was definitely good practice though. It will definitely help so my next child doesn't end up like Purple Chef. Maybe a girl would be easier to look after. But I just remembered that if it's a girl she probably won't be able to grow a mustache like me. Oh no. We can't have that. One of the biggest joys a father can have in his life is teaching his son how to groom his mustache to look as good as his dad's. Oh well. I guess what I learned from today is that I will love my next child unconditionally. Even if he or she is ugly and can't grow a mustache. Even though that would be terrible. Despite all the mistakes I made today I think that I did a pretty good job. Let me know in the comments below what you think about my parenting skills and if you'd let me adopt you. If you liked the video be sure to smash the subscribe button and leave a like while you're at it. This won't be the last you see of Daddy Pink Sheep.